CataractCoach.com. That's not cortex being aspirated. So when should a capsular tension ring be placed for zonular dialysis? I guess surgeon here is Dr. Amar Kalkarni from India. And let me show you the cleanup of the cortex. So that looks okay. And then trying to get more of the cortex. Watch carefully. Ooh, those linear lines, that's zonular dialysis right there. That's the capsule being pulled. So you don't want to do that. So you can reinflate it with viscoelastic here. But you got to be super cautious. That's the area right there. And so all surgeons have had this issue where you go to clean up some of the cortex and the capsorexis edge moves and the, you see all those linear wrinkles of the capsule. And that's not what we want. So viscoelastic your friend here to reinflate the capsular bag. This looks like HPMC hydroxypropyl methylcellulose. You can still try to clean up some of the cortex now or you can put the CTR in. That CTR, the capsular tension ring, the catch is if you put it in, it can also trap some of this cortex in the capsular bag at the equator. Because when I think about it, that outward force of the CTR is going to push this cortex out towards the, the lens equator or lens periphery. So do the cleanup here on the areas that have better support. And then that one area, which is the inferior part of your video screen, that area maybe we can leave a little bit and come back and do it after we get the CTR. But be very cautious. Pulling too much in that area. See that? Oh, you're put, there's the loose capsule again. You also don't want to come out of the eye and let the eye collapse. If you come out of the eye and the eye collapses like that, you may get vitreous prolapse. Look at that big zyanide dialysis there. Yeah, so you can get vitreous prolapse. So you need to make sure that anti-hyaloid face stays intact. So again, lots and lots of viscoelastic. This is a stressful case. You got to keep calm under pressure when you're doing this. Dr. Kolkarni is doing a really good job here. Staying calm. Look, plenty of viscoelastic, remember? Who told you viscoelastic is cheaper than vitreous? If you need more, you need more. Use it. So taking out that last bit of cortex. So you can also decrease the fluidic settings here on your cortex removal. So decrease the inflow, decrease the outflow so you don't remove so much of that viscoelastic because you want it there. Oh, pop, 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 I'd let go of that. I would let go of that, my friend. Let's leave that be. And then come out with the aspirator, but leave the infusion in. Don't take them both out. Oh, no, I'd leave them both in and then put viscoelastic in. So here's the viscoelastic. Definitely needs a capture tension ring. Now, fortunately, I think this is only a few clock hours of zyanol dehiscence. So maybe three, maybe four clock hours. A CTR alone should be sufficient. Once you get to six clock hours or so, you may have to use a sutured CTR or capsular tension segment or some other technique. But I think in this case, you should be able to put the CTR in without too much issue here. So was this traumatic from ahead of time or was it iatrogenic traumatic? Hard to say, but either way, we know what we need to do. So we need to put in more viscoelastic and let's find that CTR here. And so CTR is coming. And again, you can put it in manually as we showed you last week, or you can put it in with an injector. Either one is okay. Let's see what we're going to do in this case. So again, more and more viscoelastic. You may also want to also tell your staff to get the triamcinolone out. So when you're done with this case, put some triamcinolone there just to make sure you don't have any vitreous prolapse. If you do, you may need to do a little bit of an anterior vitrectomy as well. But the only way to really tell is to use that triamcinolone to get a good stain of any prolapsed vitreous. It'll also obviously help with post-op inflammation here. So now more and more viscoelastic. Okay, let's get that CTR. Come on, people. We want that. That CTR, now here it is. So being placed manually, again, I like the position here. So starting off away from that area and going in tangentially, following the curve here of the eye of the capsular bag. So that CTR is going to be placed quite gently. Okay, going the other way. Either way is okay. Get that in the capsular bag, nice and gently. Advance it in, as a nice, in a controlled manner. And you can see the little eyelets on the end of it. Those eyelets can be helpful to use a Sinsky hook or other small instrument to hold them to get it delivered. So you can even use a two-handed technique by the um, feeding hand over hand like he's doing here, or you can just one-handed. And as that's advanced in, that trailing haptic can then be, uh, trailing arm can be grabbed here with just that uh, Sinsky hook. There's that Sinsky hook. And that can be placed here inside the eye. And this pair is big enough to get the forcep tips in there. And now it can be gently placed in the capsule bag. Now that's going to provide sufficient support. And you notice the rexus kind of goes back to its original shape. And there's the lens in the bag. And all is well that ends well. And this patient had a nice outcome. A little bit of wrinkle in the capsule bag. 
that's okay. Thanks for watching.